If you have erratic feeding issues or you can't get a feed at all with an AMS, you may have a cracked tension arm inside the AMS. That's what I discovered after troubleshooting out the issues that I was having. It would feed erratically and then eventually it wouldn't feed material from any of the rails. So to repair it, I had to open up the AMS. When I inspected the tension arm, I saw that it was cracked almost all the way through. When I went to remove it, it broke off completely. So then I removed the feeder hub assembly and I dismantled it on the table. It was very easy to do. If you do this, you're doing it at your own risk. I inspected the two halves to see if they would fit back together and match up like a jigsaw puzzle. And fortunately they did. So I used super glue to glue them back together. But that's not the final solution. I took a soldering iron that had a flat tip on it with the ability to be able to adjust the temperature and I took it outside. I started with a low temperature and I slowly raised it and I tested it in an area that would not impact the performance of this tension arm. Once I saw that I was able to melt plastic and move the plastic around a little bit, I moved over to where it had broken off and I fused the two halves together. After I'd fused the two halves together, I then inserted the shaft with the spur rod and it snaps into place. So I wanted to see if that snapping motion might crack the arm again. However, it seems to be very robust. So I reassembled the complete feeder hub and put it back into the AMS. The first test that I performed was on a small tower that has four colors in it with small steps. I wanted to make sure that it would automatically switch colors from one to the next and complete that little tower before I attempted a, a larger print. The second test that I performed was the head of a Lego man and the head of the Lego man has four colors. Although there's a lot of the tan color on this head, the mouth is black, the eyes are black, the, the center of the eyes are white, and the eyebrows are brown. So there's a lot of changing back and forth between those colors in that small section to test out to make sure that I can safely change reels from one to the next. And that's the testing that I've done so far. Have you ever experienced this on any of your printers? And if you like this video, there's lots more coming, so consider subscribing. In the meantime, watch this video about how I discovered this in the first place next.